My name is Usha Prabhakar. I'm a Gold Elite founding coach of Wealth Creations Network, where we believe education leads to health, wealth, and wisdom. I provide free tips, tools, strategies, and resources to assist you in creating wealth online. I decided to share a health tip in this video because I feel it is very important for people to know about this. Now, today I want to talk about diabetes and GERD, or acid reflux, and the effects of the medicines on the body. Metformin is the most commonly prescribed diabetes medic medicine in the world, and in a recent study it has been found that metformin actually reduces vitamin B12 in the body. Now, what is gastroesophageal reflux, or GERD? As you see, this man is eating a, a hamburger and having a heartburn. Did you know GERD is more than a heartburn? Gastroesophageal refers to the stomach and esophagus. Reflux means to flow back or return. Therefore, gastroesophageal reflux is the return of the stomach's contents back up into the esophagus. That's a very uncomfortable feeling. In normal digestion, the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES as it is called, opens to allow food to pass into the stomach and closes to prevent food and acidic stomach juices from flowing back into the esophagus. Gastroesophageal reflux occurs when the LES is weak or relaxes inappropriately, allowing the stomach's contents to flow up into the esophagus. Now, a new report from West Liberty University indicates that using metformin along with certain classes of medicines for gastroesophageal disorder or GERD can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency and subsequent neuropathy or nerve damage and affects up to 70% of the diabetic population. Now the medicines used for GERD are omeprazole, Nexium, Prilosec, Zantac and Prevacid. Now some of the symptoms of neuropathy are uh, loss of feeling, freezing, tingling, hypersensitivity, sharp jabbing pain, burning sensation or numbness. Now here are a few interesting images that I uh, pulled up. Um, I like this uh, one with the feet and the faces on them. It's very graphic. It shows the intensity of the pain that the person is feeling. Um, and this is um, a lady trying to massage her feet to get some relief. And then here you have these uh, inflammation in the hands. Now, also, I wanted to talk about some of the remedies for the diabetic neuropathy. Um, going to the chiropractor for a massage is one of them, and using medicines such as pain relievers or creams to relieve pain. Extreme pain and cramps often warrant the use of prescription medications. Some of the options include opioids, antidepressants such as duloxetine, or Cymbalta, anticonvulsants such as Pregabalin, Lyrica, and you know, it scares me even to think of medicines like that because even, you know, these medicines are just treating the symptoms and not uh, really helping um, the problem and uh, also maybe causing to the problem. And then you have these dietary supplements such as vitamins. And then you have complementary therapies such as acupuncture and biofeedback. Now you also have physical therapy such as exercises, stretching and massage. There's also an instrument called TENS. Uh, TENS stands for Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimula Stimulation, which is a type of therapy that reduces pain by applying brief pulses of electricity to nerve endings in the skin. <clears throat> The vitamins that I was talking about, uh, you have something called the Neuropathy Support Formula. It repl replenishes your body of vitamin B12. It's a combination of B1 and B12 vitamins with uh, alpha lipoic acid, um, which is uh, ALA. And uh, <clears throat> ALA is an antioxidant that has generated a lot of attention in home remedies for diabetes. While found in some foods such as broccoli and carrots, ALA is also available as an oral supplement. People with diabetes take ALA to help alleviate pain and prevent further nerve damage. And uh, vitamin B12 is present in meats and fish and helps support red blood cells. 
This vitamin may also potentially promote healthy nerve function to prevent damage. Metformin, the, a common medication used with type 2 diabetes, is known to lower the body's vitamin B12 level. Talk to your doctor about making sure you're not deficient as a B12 deficiency can lead to neurological damage and mimic diabetic neuropathy. So if you feel any kind of tingling or numbness, you know, uh, in your uh, arms, uh, on your hands and feet, then uh, it's highly recommended uh, to go for a lab test and uh, uh, determine if you're low in vitamin B12 because of taking supplements of vitamin B12 can uh, prevent uh, more n nerve damage. Vitamin D helps support healthy nerve functions while also decreasing swelling that can lead to pain. So in conclusion, I wanted to bring it to the awareness of people that metformin lowers vitamin B12 in the body and the use of GERD medications also lowers vitamin B12 which leads to neuropathy. So it is a good idea to find alternative lifestyle changes to control GERD and uh, you know, and reduce the intake of medicines such as omeprazole, Prevacid, etc., and find natural treatments. Like a friend of mine was saying that taking a spoon of apple cider vinegar will neutralize the acids in the in the stomach. And uh, eating, uh, having a dinner three hours before uh, going to sleep, or even more than three hours before going to sleep, would be uh, recommended and having uh, raising your head while sleeping and if you have any symptoms of neuropathy then of course a check on vitamin b12 would be in order i hope you enjoyed my health tip i would uh, and i thank you for watching and you have a wonderful day thank you bye bye